among the people. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You who take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You who sit at the Father's right and have mercy on us, for only you are the Holy One, only you are the Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of the Father, amen. Every day will I bless you. I will praise your name forever to the ages of ages. Count us worthy, Lord, of passing this day without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, your name is praise and glorified forever. Amen. Let your mercy descend upon us, O Lord, for we place our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. You have been our refuge, Lord, from one generation to the next. I cried out, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I run to you, O Lord, teach me to please you. For you are my God, for in you is the fountain of life. And in your life, but always, now, and forever, into the age of age. Oh, for your mercy on those who know you. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, you glory to God in the earth, as peace on earth, goodwill on all. To my lips and my mouth will show forth your praise. Standing in the temple, we find one heaven will thank you. Tender. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Victory and we 
Δεσπότα. Ευρωγημένη Βασιλεία του Πατρός, blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and the ages of ages. Amen. Εν ειρήνη του Κυρίου δεηθόμεν, της άνωθεν ειρήνης και της σωτηρίας των ψυχών ημών του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λαϊσόν, υπέρ της ειρήνης του σύμπαντος κόσμου, ευσταθίας των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και της των πάντων ενώσεως του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Archbishop Alexius, for the honorable priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the president, for those in public service, and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this holy archdiocese, for this metropolis, for this parish and city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord our God, whose power is beyond compare and glory is beyond understanding. For a favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Your abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the Lord, Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us. So God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your Lord grace. Lord, save your people and bless your Lord, inheritance. Protect them and save your mercy. church. Come there, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, Lord. 
dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will praise him as long as I have breath. So, so, ni masi e feu, o anastas et necron, salon da si, alleluia. Bless you, whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord is God. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead, Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. The Lord reigns until the ages of ages, your God of Zion, from one generation to the next. So, so, ni masi efeu, o anastas ek nekron, salon da si, Alleluia. Doxa patrikeio, keio mevati, enin kei, Jesus <laughs> Atreptos en atropisas, tabrotiste Christe o Teos, tanato, tanato patisas. Pison, disaias triados, sin doxas o menos to patri, que to agio pneumati, sos, son, Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Come, Mother of most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. And to the Master and Lord our God, you have established in heaven the order and hosts of angels and archangels to minister to your glory. Grant that the holy angels may enter with together and may serve and glorify your goodness. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. And those who guarded you became as the dead. And standing by your sepulcher was Mary seeking your pure and sacred body. For you did vanquish Hades and uncorrupted by its touch. You came unto the virgin the Lord, so in the gift of life. Oh, you who rose from the dead, Lord, we give glory to you. Sophia, Orphi, come let us worship and bow down before Christ our Lord. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you, Hallelujah. Que il fit l'ensemble de sa peine et croit 
Son, Deis data Maria, en tota positusa, to acrandon sus oma, esquilas astonadi, mi pinas disipaptus, i pintis asti patreno, dorum menos in zoin, O Anastas en ton ecron, qui iria doxasi. Beacon of orthodox belief, the strong support of the church and her teacher inspired by God. You are the ornament of monks, the unassailable champion of theologians. O Gregory, the wonder worker and the boast of the Salonica, the messenger. Servant of Christ the Lord was and his herald most wise, a holy apostle Mark. You inspired mystic of the heavens recorded, for all of us the Savior's most divine holy gospel. Therefore, O evangelists, we lovingly honor you. Box 
Conviction. Bless the master. 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 Bless the Let us be attentive. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. To you, O Lord, I have cried, O my God. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. In the beginning, the Lord didst found the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of thy hands. They will perish, but thou remainest. They will all grow old like a garment, like a mantle. Thou wilt roll them up, and they will be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years will never end. But to what angel has he ever said, Sit at my right hand, till I make thy enemies a stool for thy feet? Are they not ministering spirits sent forth to serve for the sake of those who are to obtain salvation? Therefore, we must pay closer attention to what we have heard, lest we drift away from it. Be with you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. The reading of the Gospel is according to St. Mark. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, Jesus entered Capernaum, and it was reported that he was at home, and many were gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even about the door. And he was preaching the word to them. And they came, bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. And when they could not get near him because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And when they had made an opening, they let down the pallet on which the paralytic lay. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, My son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there questioning in their hearts, Why does this man speak thus? It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sin but God alone? And immediately Jesus, perceiving in his spirit that they thus questioned within themselves, said to them, Why do you question thus in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise, take up your pallet, and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, Rise, take up your pallet, and go home. And he rose and immediately took up the pallet and went out before them all, so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw anything like this. Peace be with you, proclaims the gospel. <laughs> and all of you. Upon the gifts 
gifts here presented that are about to be offered and grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you. <clears throat> And grant that always guarded by your power may give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And no one bound by word of his eyes will approach to join your minister to you, the King of glory, to serve you as great and awesome, even for your angelic powers, but because of your ineffable and immeasurable love for us, you became man with alteration and change you, served as a high priest and as Lord of all, entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical service without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherub with the Lord of the seraph and the King of Israel. You alone are holy, dwell among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer to you these gifts. For you, O Christ our God, for the one who offers, it is offered. The one who receives, it is tribute to you, come about head and pray. You, I come about head and pray. Do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me among children, but rather make me your sinful and worthy servant, worthy to offer to you these gifts. Together with your own holy, 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 holy and life giving spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. You have received the King of all invisibly escorted by the angelic host. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Best love according to your mother's mercy, blood on my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight. That you are justified in your sentence of blameless and judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin I am the bear. Behold, you desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill my heart with joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins and blood and all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Transgressions always for sinners, so that they shall be guilty of the sin. God, you will not despise. And let the walls of Jerusalem be built, that they shall offer books upon your altar. And have mercy upon me, O God. O God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy upon me. Take the cup. 
cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. And the Vasilia of Tupandote, Ninkea, Jesus, Eonas, Toneono. Pray, boy, the church, drep the maritory Lord, Christian Sava, Dominiasca, Domem Nulezu. In true impuratia sa, to edia ye, uana cum she, purure she, un veci veci, Lord. Amen. To gospog, bog spomiene, svena tu tsarvo svoje, svada sadak, I uvek i usve vekuva. El Señor Dios se acuerde de nosotros censurieno eternamente, ahora y siempre, y por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. Bless your holy Mercy upon me, O God. Holy Father, pray for me. May the Holy Spirit come upon you. May the Lord give me both in His kingdom, always now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Prioroso mantine sin imonto querido. Υπέρτο πρωτοθέντων τη μίαν δόλων του Κυρίου δεϊθόμεν. Υπέρτο ρεστίνε ημάς από πάσης δίψεως Οργής κινδύνου και ανάγκης του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For pardon of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For all that is going to be beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Let 
to an end to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Together, I believe in one Christ God, among us, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, Christ of all things us, visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures, and he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life in the age to come. Amen. Stomen kalo, stomen metafovu, proskomen tinagian anaforan, en irini prosferi. of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Anos let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right. For you are praised by the angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, and powers, and the many-eyed cherubim. Round about you stand the seraphim, one with six wings, the other with six wings. With two they cover their faces. With two they cover their feet. With two they fly, crying out to one another with unceasing voices and ever-resounding praises, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, <laughs> Majesty of your holiness, you are holy in all your works. For all the righteousness and the judgment you have brought forth. For you have made man take the dust of the earth and every one of them in the ordinance of the place of the world of life. Promise him eternal life.
life and the enjoyment of our last and blessed and enjoyment of your commandments. But when he disobeyed you, the true God, who he created and was led astray by the deception of the serpent becoming death, he was not just precious, so God, in your righteous judgment, expelled him from the paradise of the world. He provides for him the salvation of the generation of Christ for you to die. Wherefore, reject your creature whom you made the Lord. Nor did you forget the work of your hands, but because of your tender compassion, you visited your parents, made yourself a prophet, and performed mighty works. of precepts of salvation, releasing us from the delusions of idolatry. He guided us to share knowledge of you, the true God and Father. He acquired us for himself as his chosen people, a royal priesthood, a royal nation. Having cleansed us with, by water and sanctified us with the Holy Spirit, he gave himself as a ransom to death in which we were held captive, sold under sin. Descending into Hades through the cross, that he might fill all things with himself, he loosed the bonds of death. He rose on the third day, having opened a path for all flesh to the resurrection from the dead, since it was not possible that the author of life would be dominated by corruption. So he became the first fruits of those who had fallen asleep in the firstborn of the dead, that he might be himself the first in all things. Ascending into heaven, he sat at the right hand of your majesty on high, and he will come again to render each according to his works as memorials of his saving passion. He has left us these gifts which we have set forth by you according to his command. Commands. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary, ever memorable and life giving death on the night in which he was delivered up, or rather, when he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, and presenting to you God and Father, and offering thanks, blessing, sanctifying, breaking it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Likewise, he took the cup of the fruit of the vine, and having mingled it, offering thanks, blessing, and sanctifying it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death and you confess my resurrection. Therefore, Master, we also, remembering his saving passion and life-giving cross, his three-day burial and resurrection from the dead, his ascension into heaven, enthronement at your right hand, God and Father, and the second and glorious coming again. Gata Panda Kedi Apanda, we offer to you these gifts from your own gifts and all and for all. We dare to approach your holy altar and bring forth the symbols of the holy and body and blood of your Christ. We pray to you and call upon you, O Holy of Holies, that by the favor of your goodness, your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon the gifts you have presented to bless, sanctify, and make. Father, bless the Holy This bread. bread to be the precious body of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the Holy Cup. And this cup to be the precious blood of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both Shed holy gifts. for the life and the salvation of the world. Amen. 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 And unite us all to one another who have become partakers of the one bread and cup in the communion of the one Holy Spirit. Grant that none of us may partake of the holy body and bloody of your Christ to judgment or condemnation. We may find mercy and grace with you all holy saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. Forefathers, fathers, patriots, prophets, and angels, martyrs, confess yourself to the very servant of the faith. And we pray to Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Athanasius the priest, Artemidos, Blessed Eliani, Athanasius, Socrates the priest, Calodimus, George, Cynthia, George, the servants of God, O Lord, we pray for Constantine, Cleopatra, and James. From you our God was incarnate and 
Speak to their hearts, good things concerning your people. Please turn around. We pray, O Lord, you remember the people here presented and those who are absent with good cause. Have mercy on them and us according to the multitude of your mercies. Fill their treasuries with every good thing. Preserve their marriages in peace and harmony. Nurture the infants. Instruct the youth. Strengthen the age. Give courage to the faint-hearted. Reunite those separated. Bring back those in error and unite them to your holy Catholic and apostolic church. Free those who are held captive by unclean spirits. Sail with those who sail. Travel with those who travel. Defend the widows. Protect the orphans. Liberate the captives. Heal the sick. Remember all those who are in mines and ex exile and harsh labor and those of every kind of affliction, necessity or distress, those who entreat your loving kindness. Be all things to all. You who know each person, his request, his household, and his need. Deliver this parish and city, O Lord, and every city and country from famine, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, invasion of foreign enemies, and civil war. Above all, remember, Lord Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us keeps in mind, and all your people. And all your people. Receive us all into your heavenly kingdom. Declare us to be sons and daughters of the light of day. And grant us your peace and love, O Lord our God, for you have given us all things. And we pray, O Lord, for those who are enduring religious persecution throughout the world, for peace in the Ukraine, for the softening of the hearts of the aggressors, for those who suffered from the effects of struggling from the, her the earthquakes in Turkey and Syria, for those in Tempe, Greece, who are struggling. And we pray, O oh Lord, for Angelo and George the priests, John the priest and family, Eleni, George, Ron, Mary, Gus, Lubov, Kay, Steve, Danis, Margarita, John, Gus, George, Sergio, Spirit on Don, Angela, Constantine, Elena, Gary, Kim, Betty Ann, Marina, Evelyn, Michali, Angela, Craig, Fortuna, Tina, Crisula, Elaine, Stella, Christopher, Milica, Razor, Nelly, Rachel, Jessica, John, Theisides, Aphrodite, Matthäus, Christina, Abby, Trudy, Heather, James, Matt, and Aphrodite. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. I greet you with much love and joy in our Lord's name this morning. A few small reminders as we proceed and we continue toward our Lord's resurrection and the 40 days. 
Of course, first and foremost, this Friday evening, His Eminence Archbishop Arpido Fodos will be here presiding over the Heritizmi, the Friday night salutation service to the Theotokos. All are invited and following. Our Philoptikos will be having a beautiful Lenten meal for us. You're all invited to be here. Our Murbearers will be here. Our altar boys will be here. Our Archons will be here. Our parish council will be here. Our Philoptikos and all of you are welcome to join us on this great day. As we continue on Wednesday, this Wednesday, March 15th, all of you who are stewards of the church are going to be receiving a very important email. It's from our St. Mark Church and Realm. And what it does is you need to accept the invitation. It's not spam. It's very important. We're saying it. You need to accept the invitation. That will give you, that will become our new portal here at St. Mark. So what will it do? It will give you opportunities to communicate with various people in the church. It will be our online directory. It will have important dates up there. It will allow you to make a gift and offering right from your phone. To be so clear, when we put the realm in and we put my data in there at first, it went back 12 years. So for those of you who have been here that long, your stewardship will show all of your giving to St. Mark will be shown on this one app. But it's a beautiful program that we invested in. But if you don't accept the invitation, it's useless. So I encourage you all, accept the invitation. If you're not a steward of the church, become a steward today. Fill out a card right there in your pews. Drop it off so that you can be part of it. All of our communication will slowly be shifting to realm. All of our payments will be shifting to realm. Realm will become really the lifeline of our church. So we ask you, Three words, accept the invitation. Please accept the invitation. We are truly best, of course, that you go into the hall today. You'll have an opportunity if you'd like to make a donation for Pascha donations, they'll be there. Dawn will be there with our faithful. And also starting next Sunday, we will be selling tickets for our Palm Sunday luncheon. We're very excited to host a beautiful event. As you know, as you've heard me say, at St. Mark, we don't pass trays. We want people and we encourage them to be part of our stewardship program. We've continued that and really grown to a certain level and it's indeed a blessing. And that level is this year for our festival, we were able to give 30% of our net proceeds away. Can you imagine that? We gave 30% because of your hard work, all of you who volunteered, Joe leading the way, Porus, our parish council, all of our festival booth heads, we were able to give three different charities, and today we're going to ask those three charities to come forward. So imagine, each of these charities today will be blessed with a beautiful gift from St. Mark. And I have it in my notes here. The first charity is to our very own St. Mark Philoptikos for all they do. And I'm going to ask Barbie to come first, Joe and Jim Porit, Jim Dovis and Joe Porris, our parish council president, and our festival chairperson to come forward, Barbie Tasiunis, who leads our Philoptikos. I'm going to ask Aggie Pappas and Sarah Nunes from Pace from Pace Center for Girls. I want to tell you, you all know what Philoptikos does. I talk about it every week. Pace Center for Girls provides a promise for those 12 to 18 girls, an opportunity for a better future through education, counseling, training, and advocacy. At, cost to, at no cost to their families, Pace Broward and Palm Beach, which Sarah is the director of, and Aggie is the vice president of the whole region, is that correct? Yes, and Aggie's our very own, of course, who has served in our parish council for many years and been active in our church. Statewide, Pace has served over 40,000 girls and young women in 21 locations. We are blessed to be able to help them. And also, I'm going to call, although she didn't know this now, Helen Nicosisi to come forward because the third charity that we're giving to is we are going to assist and we are going to build a church in Kenya. We're going to work through OCMC and we're going to officially give that on the fifth Sunday of Lent. But because on this day we honor these three charities, each of these charities today, because of the efforts of our festival committee and all of you are going to receive $18,000. $18,000 to Pace. 18 to our church in Canyon. 18 to our Philoptikos. Come forward.
May God bless you all. Congratulations. Thank you. So God bless Sarah. Thank God bless so you. Much. We are indeed blessed. When we continue to give our best to our Lord, he sends his mercies, his blessings upon us. I can say this is something that the parish council has been working toward for many years to make the festival an opportunity for outreach. And indeed, Joe, his festival committee, the parish council, they've done that. Thank you very much. Let's continue to work towards resurrection. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That a God who loves mankind, having accepted at his holy, celestial, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, May return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. The Holy Spirit, let us commend another and our whole life. Patri mono en dis uranis aesthite to anomasu, theto i vasiliasu, genithito to thelimasu, os en uranoi ke epitizis, ton artin imon ton epiusion, dhoron, indo amita imi, os tafim teto simon, ke mi mas ispirasmon, araris e mas apotu poneru, our father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Lord, Master, the Father of mercies and God of our every consolation, bless, sanctify, and guard, fortify, and strengthen those who have bowed their heads to you. Distance them from every evil deed, lead them to every good work, and make them worthy to partake. Without condemnation of these, your pure and life-giving mysteries, for the forgiveness of sins and for the communion of the Holy Spirit. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Let us be attentive, proscomia. This is the Holy Ghost for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken yet not divided, forever eaten yet ever consumed. Sanctify those who partake of him. Jesus Christos Nika, Jesus Christ conquers. The cup is filled with the faith in the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen.
Good morning. Always a joy to be here at St. Mark's and to worship with all of you in this wonderful, spiritually uplifting parish and church. Today in the gospel lesson, we heard the story of a paralyzed man. He can't walk. He's placed on a stretcher by four friends and they are carrying him to a house in Capernaum because they heard that Jesus is there. And these friends believe that Jesus has the power to cure their friend. Well, word of Jesus's presence has spread throughout the town and the house is filled so much so that these men could not enter therein. But they weren't discouraged. They went to the roof on the house and they found a place right above where Jesus was standing. And they knew that if they could get their friend close to Jesus, Jesus will do the rest. And they made a hole. And through that hole, they lowered the stretcher where their friend was lying. And Jesus, seeing it, was very impressed. He said, my child, your sins are forgiven. And then Jesus said, I order you to pick up your stretcher and go home. And the man got up and picked up his stretcher at once. And he walked out in front of everyone. Well, Great Lent, my sisters and brothers, is our call to follow Jesus Christ, to pick ourselves up and to go home with hearts filled with the joy in Jesus Christ. Our call is to open our hearts to him, to pick ourselves up, to walk with him, to become like him, and to be true to this calling. Let us not forget that faith in God through Jesus Christ is expressed not merely by what we say, but by how we live. Jesus' words today are our charge for you and for me to get up from this place, from our beautiful St. Mark, and go home. For the Lord removes our worldly paralysis in order for us to become his advocates of Christian love. Reading God's word fortifies us in this sacred call. Now, if you subscribe to our Archdiocese website and you receive the daily scriptural lessons that are sent out, you will have noticed that the readings now during Great in Holy Lent come from the Old Testament. We receive three Old Testament texts, first from the book of Genesis, then from the great prophet Isaiah, and finally from the book of Proverbs. Now, as we all know, the history of the Old Testament is God's revelation from creation until the time of Jesus. It's the unfolding of the history of the Jewish people, their laws, their faith, their culture. It focuses on the prophets and the fulfillment of God's promise in and through Jesus Christ. For us, as Orthodox Christians, it's worthy to note that our church uses as her source for the Old Testament what's called the Septuagint. The Septuagint means the translation of the 70 from Hebrew to Greek. Among the 49 books that make up the Old Testament, three are called the Book of Maccabees. The first Book of Maccabees begins by stating that Alexander the Great conquered the then known world and he had died. And how his successors influenced all the denominate, dominated people with Greek language and Greek culture. So powerful was this influence that the Jews themselves were losing their own language and culture, their identity, especially in the diaspora. And Ptolemy, who was appointed by Alexander and was his successor some 75 years after the death of Alexander the Great, ordered that Demetrius, now Demetrius was the head librarian of the great library of Alexandria. Some consider even to this day, perhaps the greatest library in the world. Now Ptolemy ordered him to get, either purchase or copy every book in the then known world. Can you imagine that? Every book in the then known world. Demetrius knew that he couldn't get 
the sacred text of the Jews. So he requested from Eleazar, who was the high priest in Jerusalem, to send six scholars from every tribe of Israel to Alexandria. And they were to translate the sacred texts of the Jews from the Hebrew to the Greek. This translation is what we call the Septuagint. It was completed about 250 years before the birth of Christ and has become the standard text for our Church of the Old Testament. Many of our church fathers have said that this translation clarified issues about the coming of the Messiah and the person of Jesus Christ. This past Friday, we began reading from the book of Genesis, the fifth chapter. The fifth chapter begins with the story of Noah, and this narrative continues for the next coming week. Humankind, it says in that fifth chapter, had become wicked at that time, and God was grieved, but Noah was different and righteous from all the others. And God saved humanity through Noah. He built an ark whose specifications are clearly stated by the Lord God. And all the created animals of the world therein were placed along with Noah's family. And as we know, it rained for 40 days and 40 nights when finally this vessel came to rest at Mount Ararat. John Cassian, one of the saints of our church, and other church fathers have said that our churches today are like the ark, that place where we come to praise and worship our God, that place we come to be safe from the floods and the storms of this world, to be safe from the world's corruption and destruction. But brothers and sisters, we are not meant to stay in the ark. We are called to go forth into the world to share Christ's message. Yes, you and I are to become Christ's message. Do you know that our beloved St. Mark's is such an ark where Christ is praised and glorified, where Christ is taught and lived, a place from which we are called to bring his message into the world? As I was thinking about these things, I fondly remembered a course I had taken with a Jewish rabbi, two Catholic nuns, and a Lutheran minister. One of those nuns was Sister Eileen Daly. She was very humorous and she was in her late 60s and was just a, a terrific person. During our breaks during this course, we would often share thoughts and experiences from our own faith traditions. One day, we happened to be talking about Noah's Ark and Rabbi David shared with us that many rabbis felt that there was a defin definite connection between the Ark of the Covenant. Now, the Ark of the Covenant is that religious, most sacred relic of the Jews that carried pieces of the Ten Commandments, that carried Moses' budded rod, that carried pieces of manna that the Jews had in the desert when they wandered for 40 years. That there's a definite connection between that Ark and Noah's Ark. You see, for the Jews, both are symbols of salvation. Immediately, Sister Eileen talked to me about a tradition of some of the old Catholics in her church who believed that Noah's Ark landed on Mount Ararat on March the 4th. David, Rabbi, the Rabbi David, he looked very puzzled. And I turned to Sister and Eileen and I said, you know, we Orthodox are very in tune with religious events, with historical happenings. And I never, ever heard it said in our church that Noah's Ark landed on the fourth day of March. And she looked at me and she quickly said, Father Jim, don't you know that on that day, Noah opened the doors of the Ark once and it safely landed? And he looked up to the heavens and then back at the inhabitants of the Ark. And he said with arms lifted up, March 4th. <laughs> well, I never forgot Sister Eileen's story. And certainly, I'm not sure whether Noah's Ark landed on the fourth day of March. But I am sure of our call today to march forth, to march forth from this Ark, to march forth from St. Mark's Church, remembering Jesus' call to the paralytic to pick up his treasure and go home. We are now called to march forth 
and to pick up ourselves from the paralysis of this life and to march forth to infiltrate the world with Christ's love. We are called to march forth from this ark with hope and joy into our hopeless and confused world. We are called to march forth with the promise of Christ is with us, well aware that the floods and the storms of our life will not drown us in the chaos and the turbulence of this world. So let's pick up ourselves up and march forth, march forth with strength and certainty that the values of our Christian faith will overcome the emptiness that our society is promoting. March forth, my brothers and sisters, with Christ in our hearts to help the helpless and bring hope to the hopeless. Let us march forth from this blessed ark of St. Mark. For you and I were called to be Christ's advocates, Christ's champion, right here and right now. Remember, we come to this blessed ark of St. Mark and are fed the body and blood of Christ. And now we are called to march forth and feed the world with his love and message of salvation. Yes, brothers and sisters, march forth always with perseverance and joy. For here, here in this ark, we have come to know Christ. And now let us march forth and make him known. This I pray in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. As we prepare ourselves to receive the body and blood of Christ, I cannot help but think two weeks ago when our Goyans, our juniors and seniors, were down in Nassau. It was not a vacation trip, but rather we went down as part of a service project and we served the beautiful Ranfurly home. Ranfurly Homes helps displaced children who have no families at all, gives them an opportunity for some sort of a stable life. And we were blessed down there to go down with our young people to work outside and play with them with sports, to do Bible trivia, which they beat us, of course. And one of our, semi one of our students said, we should bring them to help us at the Bible Bowl. And I said, no, you should read the Bible more. And that's our goal. And the third, of course, was in arts and crafts, making beautiful bracelets and making little crosses and spiritual treasures. These young people have nothing and it's an opportunity for us to give. More important from anything, from the, from the financial things that we gave, was these 25 Goyans that spent their experience there and that truly transformed the lives of those children at Ramferley, but also transformed the lives of our Goyans. And that was indeed a blessing. So today, the, third, the second Sunday of Lent, our outreach ministry will be focused on Ramferly Homes. So as you come to receive the body and blood of Christ, and as you depart, we give of ourselves always an opportunity for you to give so we can send some financial means down to this beautiful place that offers children a better hope. May God bless us all. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal, amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as a thief, I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. With the fear of God, with faith, love, draw near.
your people and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity. The Trinity who has said Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, that your glory be over all the earth. Blessed is our God, always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having 
partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, cross, and mysteries of Christ, let us worthy give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for the communion of your holy, most pure, immortal, and heavenly mysteries, your precious body and blood would you have granted us for the benefit, sanctification, and healing of our souls and bodies. Grant, Master of all, the communion of your holy body and blood of our Christ may become for us faith unashamed, love unfeigned, fullness of wisdom, healing of soul and body, repelling of every hostile adversary, observance of your commandments, and an acceptable defense at the dread judgment seat of your Christ. For you are our sanctification, and to you we offer glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them and return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to your armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above coming from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. O no makiri ui, a body man of a potuni, We pause at this time to offer memorial prayers, a 40 day memorial for Dean Nicholas Stars, a 40-day memorial for Dorian Alex Virgos, a nine-month memorial for Steve Darios, a one-year memorial for John Perijaros, a one-year memorial for Dimitrios Kiranos, a one-year memorial for Marcos Contarakis, a one-year memorial for Ann Politis Myers, a 20-year memorial for Peter Tavuleris, and a 55-year memorial for Nicholas Tantilidis. May our Lord give them each eternal rest in his kingdom. Your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose. Give rest to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Luxa patri ke io ke ahi opnev mati si o theo simono katavasi sadin ke tas odinas lisas ton pepe dimenon aftos ke tas psikas ton duhulon su sotera napapso Now and forever to the ages of ages, amen O only pure and immaculate virgin who gave birth to God in virginity Pray for the salvation of the souls of your servants With the saints we pray, give rest, O Lord to the souls of your servants, where there is no more pain, sorrow, or suffering, but life everlasting. <laughs>
God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you hear us and have mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the rest of the souls of God's servants. Dean Nicholas, Dorian Alex, Steve John, Dimitrios, Marcos, and Peter Nicholas, who have fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of their sins from Christ, our immortal King and God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil and given life to your world, give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, Dean, Dorian, Steve, John, Dimitrios, Marcos, Anne, Peter, Nicholas, who have fallen asleep in a place of light, in a place of comfort, in a place of refreshment, where there is no more pain, sorrow, or suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin which they have committed, whether in word or deed or thought. For there is no person who lives and does not sin, except for you, the only sinless one. Your justice is eternal justice, and your word is truth. <laughs> Η ζωή και η μακαρία να απαυσείς τον πρώτο κοιμημένο δούλων σου όν τα ονόματα εμνημονεύσαμεν. Χριστέ ο Θεός ημών και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν συν το ανάρχο σου Πατρί και το Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζωοποιό σου Πνεύματι νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Amen. We, O Christ our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have fallen asleep. And to you we ascribe glory, together with your eternal Father, your all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and on to the ages of ages. Amen. May your memory be eternal, our dear brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. May your memory be eternal, our dear brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. come upon you through his divine grace and love for us always, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead is a good, loving, and merciful God, have mercy on us and save us through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praise of the apostles, the holy and righteous answers of God, Joy Kimenon of Saint Mark the Evangelist, the patron saint of our church, of Saint Gregory of Palamas, and Gregory the, the Adolof, whose memory we commemorate today and of all your saints, have mercy in us and save us. 
for you are a good God who loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God of mercy, and us and save us. Dios conto na yo paterni mon kiri Jesus Christe o theos eleison ke so sonimas. May the Holy Trinity protect and keep all of you. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. Today we say a special goodbye. Father Dennis is last Sunday here with President Apollo at St. Mark. It's been a joy to have them. We welcome our visitors who are here today. I know Nick Rezevi is visiting from New York. I saw Paul and Aaron Panagas from Arizona visiting for their granddaughter's 40-day blessing today. All of you, may God bless you all. Have a blessed day, and we look forward to seeing you in the fellowship hour for the liturgy after the liturgy. And also, as you go, give generously to Ranfurly Homes. Everything we make, we do, we'll send directly there. May God bless us. We'll see you Friday night when the Archbishop is here at 6 o'clock. Not at 6.15, please, at 6 o'clock. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for, for He is good. Hallelujah, for His mercy endureth forever and ever. Hallelujah. All the nations surrounded me by the name of the Lord, I Hallelujah, for His mercy endureth forever and ever. Hallelujah. My help cometh from the Lord who hath made the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah, for His mercy endureth. Forget not all he has done for thee. Alleluia. For his mercy endureth forever and ever. Alleluia. Thou hast prepared a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Alleluia. For his mercy endureth forever and ever. Alleluia. I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. Alleluia.